Welcome to my lecture online. Our last example here again, what we're trying to do is write it as a single fraction. We're going to simplify that. Writing as a single fraction which means that every term must have this same common denominator. So the LCD in this case is equal to the quantity 4 plus x squared to the 3 quarter power which means any term that does not have that as a denominator needs to be changed so that the denominator does have that. That means that in this case here, we're going to have to multiply both the top and the bottom by that same quantity. So we're going to multiply this by 4 plus x squared to the 3 quarter power. Well, we're going to divide it and multiply it by, oop, it should be 4 plus x squared to the 3 quarter power. So notice that I can cancel that out and get back with what I started and that's always a good check. Now that we have this as a common denominator we can write over single denominator so this can be written as x squared minus the quantity 4 plus x squared to the 1 quarter power times 4 plus x squared to the 3 quarter power all over a common denominator of 4 plus x squared to the 3 quarter power. So this becomes equal to x squared minus, now here since the bases are the same we're going to add exponents so this becomes 4 plus x squared to the 1 quarter plus 3 quarter or 4 quarters power all divided by 4 plus x squared to the 3 quarter power. Of course this is the same as to the first power so this can now be written as x squared minus 4 minus x squared all divided by 4 plus x squared to the 3 quarter power and of course x squares cancel out and finally this is equal to minus 4 divided by the quantity 4 plus x to the 3 quarter power and this is then the final simplified format written as a single fraction of our original problem and that is how it's done.